Hi, this is Peter Lowe again and this is the fourth video on the passive airflow technique. In this video we are going to talk about actually applying the technique in real life. Uh, if you've done the exercises um, which I mentioned in my last video, you will have an idea of what to do um, and it's not so difficult to uh, really um, know what it's all about. You let out a little bit of air coming out from your lips and you slow the first syllable. But the real problem comes when you have to really um, use it in real life because that's when the when the factor of stress comes in because it's yeah it's quite easy to use the technique in the privacy of your own room because then there's very little stress the uh, main principle is to get your foot in the door as it were with applying the technique in in real life you first start small and then you gradually extend your usage. Uh, for instance, when I started to learn the technique and apply it, I first um, said a single word. For instance, I said hello to the, um, a boy selling newspapers. And, uh, or you can say good morning. Uh, to one of your colleagues, N nothing more, just that one, one or two words. There are uh, a few exercises to help you, you to ease into real life with uh, a fluency technique such as this one. And uh, the first one is the so-called target person exercise where you choose a particular person every day and you uh, apply your technique only once only once during a conversation with that person and only at the beginning of a sentence for instance it could be your your wife or your husband or your uh, friend or a colleague or a stranger even um, but just use it once and that's enough f in the beginning um, and you, you, know, you, you can also uh, uh, record this uh, particular exercise uh, on paper there is a so-called uh, practice report um, I have a copy of that in my free online book I'll leave details of that at the end of the of this video um, but you so, so you choose a person and you apply your technique with that person uh, just once and then gradually of course you can extend that if you've um, had success with your technique uh, with, with that particular sentence you can begin to use it more than once in, th in that conversation with that particular person and gradually on you can extend that usage to more than one person every day it can be two persons and later it can be three persons until you get used to apply the, uh, the technique with other people uh, and of course if you don't succeed in getting it right if you do stutter then you have to go back you have to evaluate your technique find out f find out if you've pushed your flow uh, or if you haven't slowed down that first syllable there are many things that can go wrong and uh, yeah, you can go back to my uh, video one two and three if you um, want more details of this. There is also the intensive interval exercise that's where you choose a particular time of day 
um, and in during that period you will use your technique all the time if somebody talks to you. For instance you say to yourself and you can uh, record that in your practice report I'm going to use my technique from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock if somebody talks to you during that period and you really try to apply your technique as much as possible during that period. Then also you have to appoint a monitor or more than one monitor if, if, uh, if possible. A monitor is simply another person who will act as your, <laughs> your speech policeman. Um, many people don't like that but it really helped me. Uh, sometimes it helps to get another person who will uh, who, who will check you out and who will see to it that you do use your technique instead of stuttering. It's, it really helped me. Um, it could be your, your spouse or your friend or a colleague or anybody really. Um, but y you first have to to um, tell that person what you are doing and explain the technique to him so that he knows what's going on of course and then this person has to to make you aware if you stutter instead of using your your technique okay so now one more thing and this is one of the most important things and that is simply do a relaxation exercise it is so important with people who stutter that they should do regular relaxation exercises or something to to keep their stress levels down because stress is to um, stuttering is to a very large extent it's stress related so um, and it it's very difficult to apply a fluency technique if you if your stress levels are high so you have to do uh, a daily relaxation exercise it sounds like a lot of work but uh, actually it's it's quite nice to do some relaxation and of course there are many many ways to relax some more healthy than others um, the one which I would recommend is what I did, it's, it's a so-called bathtub exercise and you actually combine it with just your ordinary daily bathroom routine um, you, you, uh, after you've cleaned in the bath you soak in that nice hot water and then you do what is called progressive muscle relaxation that is where you gradually relax your whole of your body starting with your, say for instance with your feet and you go up and you um, relax each set of muscles in your body um, th then you can combine that with meditation there are many ways of doing that but the main point is that you have to focus on a particular idea for instance just relax the, the the word relax and you focus on that particular word so and apparently that focusing on a single idea relaxes your mind also so with, with the both exercise you combine physical relaxation through uh, the progressive muscle relaxation and you combine that with mental relaxation which you do with meditation. Um, I've got details in my uh, online book so yes um, but it's very important that you do that for about 30 minutes every day for at least the first year of this whole procedure. In my last video I mentioned that for very high stress situations you have to do something different. Um, fluency techniques are not very effective when the tension is too high. So it, 
then becomes very difficult to apply it. So what you do is you need to follow a procedure which is called stress desensitization. And that's the same kind of procedure which is used for the treatment of people who suffer from fears, uh, phobias, such as a fear of heights or a fear of flying or a fear of insects, um, that kind of thing. Uh, it's very similar with stuttering. You, the, yeah, the, the procedure is that you first use your technique in low stress situations. For instance, uh, if you use the telephone, you will first use the technique while it's a very low stress scenario. For instance, if you just lie down in, in your bed without actually talking on the phone, by just holding the phone in, in your hand and not speaking, not intending to speak, but just having this th thing, this dangerous object in your hand and uh, slowly getting accustomed to its presence. Uh, that's the lowest level and you then apply your technique in this phone which is not working of course and yeah you and of course in this low stress sit situation your technique will work because you are in very low stress and then gradually you you increase the stress on yourself in higher levels of stress and at each level you you monitor yourself to see if if it's working if it's not working if you are stuttering then you go back to a previous level and you you uh, evaluate your technique uh, until it works and then you go up to the next level that's the basic pro procedure and this procedure you follow with different sit situations each time because each situation is different the the mere fact that you are successful with the telephone doesn't mean that it will also be effective in a restaurant situation for instance or in shops each situation has to be treated differently and um, because success doesn't necessarily jump from one situation to another one. We've been conditioned to stutter in particular situations, so each situation has to be treated um, in its own way. Uh, the various levels in each situation, um, there can be many levels of course you, you can devise your own levels if, if you want to um, but the, the main point is that they have to range from uh, very low stress to very high stress um, yeah, in, my, in my book you will find um, the details of each level for many situations Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching my video and all the best with your speech. Thank you. Bye-bye.